literacy. Now, what do we think of when we hear that word? Our elementary school English classes, standardized testing, or the simple task of reading and writing? Now, the concept of literacy has many varied definitions across different cultures and languages that makes it slightly harder to determine who is considered to be literate versus illiterate in specific societies. Now, being functionally illiterate means that you do have the ability to read and write, but at a level that is inadequate to meet ordinary standards for daily life. According to organizations such as UNESCO, anyone in an industrialized society with less than a grade five education is considered to be illiterate, while those with less than a grade nine education are considered to be functionally illiterate. So while Canada is one of those developed nations that boasts a high literacy rate of 99%, it doesn't take into account the individuals in our country that are deemed functionally illiterate. And according to UNESCO, it affects one out of every six Canadians. Now, functional literacy exists in all societies to varying degrees and has many shared social and economic impacts with that of illiteracy. These include poor health outcomes, welfare dependency, lack of social cohesion, as well as increased unemployment rates, just to name a few of the many reasons. Now, Imagine that you were unable to read the label of medication that you were prescribed to fix an ailment, or were incapable of understanding an important document regarding your taxes. These are real issues that people struggling with functional illiteracy are facing. They're reaching downfalls in their personal and professional lives. And it is estimated by the World Literacy Foundation that those who are considered to be illiterate individuals are earning 40% less than their literate counterparts. And when we're talking income over a substantial period of time, that is quite a bit of lost money. Now, the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development explained this idea really well. The fact that literacy is more than just reading, writing, and numeracy. It's not so much about being either literate or illiterate anymore, but about being able to meet the standards of today's demands. Now, if a person is not able to meet today's demands, then they are unable to effectively contribute to today's society as well achieve personal growth for themselves. That means that enhancing literacy levels is crucial for economic development as well as for creating a future that is more talented, happier, healthier, and is not misusing $1.19 trillion a year. Now, there are many great organizations that are working towards achieving better levels of literacy at local and national and international levels, such as Project Literacy, the World Literacy Foundation, and Lit World. They appreciate volunteer efforts and donations of either time or money and have amazing, amazing initiatives going on in different parts of the world, such as the US, Australia, Uganda, and Colombia. Some of these initiatives involve providing solar power technology for reading and digital learning, offering teaching resources to those in need of them, and also promoting and creating awareness campaigns to reach people across the globe. Now, these are major initiatives as well as global organizations working towards these goals, but there are ways that you can start to make changes, starting with the way that we simply choose to approach literacy. Now, like the OECD, so simply put, it's not so much about who is considered to be literate or illiterate anymore, but about being able to meet those qualitative standards in order for people to have better lives overall and be able to prosper. As the Nobel Prize winner Amartya Sen said, literacy is freedom. Thank you very much.